Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha Moonshine. If you have not been here before, and if you have, welcome back. So today, once again, I've tried to get my daughter to go to sleep, but she is a live wire and doesn't believe in sleep. So if you hear a little bit of munching in the background, it's her. Um, but otherwise I'll do my best. So as usual, we are here for another week of new to Oz slash Australia beauty edition where I talk all things new released in the week that is available in Australia and in some circumstances New Zealand. I really have a hard time seeing all these new releases for America and Europe only. Uh, so this is broken down to Australian brands and international brands that are now actually available for us to access, whether that's online or in store. So I categorize this in two sections, online and in store. So in store is your Mecca, your Sephora, etc., And then online is just everything else or if I can't find it in store. Let's get straight into it. We don't have any Mecca. I do know though that their last and final wave of holiday is next week. So next week there will be more holiday releases with Mecca. But for this week they've taken a little break and there's no new releases. So we'll move into Priceline and Priceline have a few new things. They have the L'Oreal Wake Up and Glow collection. Now they have an addition into their existing Wake Up and Glow collection. There were other stuff with the Wake Up and Glow collection, but this is the new Melon Watermelon series. So what we have is the Melon Dollar Baby Blush for $29.95. I saw this in store and it smells so good. And the color is actually quite gorgeous. It reminds me of NARS Orgasm, but without the shimmer. Um, so it was very pretty. I was very tempted and there's like 40% off at the moment, but like I need to knuckle down and I really want to spend some money on holiday, so. And they also have released a Glow Cherie Natural Glow for $21.95, which is a natural glow enhancing lotion infused with hydrating watermelon for all over fresh natural radiance. It's available in three shades. Glow, glow lotion that can be worn alone, under foundation or target areas for a more luminous effect. And that looks absolutely stunning. And I feel like it would be a lot fresher feeling than some of those um, luminous primers because it is a lotion as well. And then lastly, they have the Glow Mon Amour Highlight, which is $29.95 in Melon Berry. Also stunning. I swatched this on my hand and it was, it looked wet. It was, it was absolutely gorgeous. I love this new range. Like I honestly wanted all three of them. Uh, Priceline has a new brand and that is Wanda 2 and they specialize in brow products. So they have released the Wanda Brow Eyebrow Gel for $35 and that's available in four shades. They also have the Wanda Brow Fiber Filler for $35 in three shades. And now what that is, is a waterproof and transfer proof brow powder designed to create a fuller brow with a beautiful soft finish. And lastly, they have one more product and that is the Wonder Extensions Volumizing Mascara for $30. Now, I wanted to mention this because it is been said that Essence have released a collection called Crystal Powder, Crystal Power, sorry. And apparently it's available in Australia already. I went on their website and I was like, yeah, had all the Australian prices, find your store, local store, but it didn't, like it was, said the local store was Pricelines. So I had a look at Pricelines website and I cannot see this anywhere. So whether it's coming in the next week, whether I'm a few days too early, I don't know, but apparently it's supposed to be available in Australia. So that's why I'm gonna mention it, but I cannot find it. I cannot find it. The Crystal Power Collection includes an eyeshadow palette for $12, and this is all Australian prices, nothing over $12, incredibly affordable, as Essence always is. We have the What The Fake Mascara, $7. You Better Work Mascara, $6. 12 single eyeshadows, $4 each. We have two highlighters at $5 each, two blushes for $5 each, 
two contouring duos for $7 each, a blush and highlight palette for $12, shine 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 lip gloss $4, and eight lipsticks for $4.50 each. So there's quite a collection and I want to see where it is. I mean, it has to be Priceline or Target. It can't be anywhere else unless I'm missing something. I looked and I did not find. So far I have a couple of things released, but not a lot. I think with all these holiday waves, now that we're, it's most of it's been released, I think a lot of these brands are like, let's take a breath, you know? So it's not been crazy. But YSL have released an all hours collection, which includes a foundation stick for $79 and it's a waterproof night to night hour wear foundation that glides effortlessly onto the skin for a medium to full coverage. Can someone explain to me who wants to wear foundation from night to night? Does that mean like 24 hours or like this night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night? There is a concealer for $59 and it is full coverage. And there is a compact for $89, which is a balm to powder foundation for a smooth matte finish. We have La Base, which is $72, a primer that creates an instant perfecting layer for a long lasting flawless matte complexion. So we're looking at medium to full coverage, matte, nightwear collection. That's how I interpret that. Bite Beauty have released a creamy color four piece mini abuse um, a booze, <laughs> a mousse, a bouche, supercharged lipstick set for $35. It includes Good Juju B, Ruby Bon Bon, Cherry Truffle, and Cocoa Bite. Or Coco, Cacao, Cacao! I don't know how to say it. I also wanted to mention the new Fenty release of their Trophy Wife collection. Um, so when Trophy Wife came out, I bought it. It's the only Fenty highlighter I have. And yes, I know it's for the deeper skin complexions, but I was so obsessed with the color, I had to have it. So I have the Trofu Wife highlighter, and they're bringing out a whole collection. It's not, Sephora Australia haven't said that we're getting it or when we're getting it. I'm assuming we will get it though, because we get pretty much all Fenty. It just might be a bit delayed. But I wanted to mention it because they are advertising it and it looks so good. There's like a lip gloss, a lip, um, an eyeliner. Let me just have a look. Okay, so there is the highlighter, which is the OG, a uh, gloss bomb, <sighs> eyeliner, and lipstick. Wow. And then it comes in a patent leather makeup bag. Jeez Louise. I want it. I just love gold. I'm a gold gal. I love gold jewelry. So this right up my alley. Moving on, Chemist Warehouse slash Priceline because they're one and the same. But Chemist Warehouse advertised this so they get the credit for this one. They have the Revlon Ultra High Definition Matte Lip Color, $24.95. Uh, so even though it is a matte finish, it claims to also be hydrating and lightweight. So, uh, David Jones has, um, Tom Ford have released a Gloss Luxe for $74. Comes in 20 shades. So, I saw the ad for this and it was super lush. Tom Ford makes everything lush. So it's described as the next evolution of lip gloss goes light as air in sheer to medium coverage infused with three oils avocado olive and jojoba <laughs> I think that's it um, and hollow powders for airy comfort the liquid balm glaze hydrates lips with full looking zero gravity wear and gleam love it I mean I mean, it's all about gloss at the moment. Uh, $74 for a gloss is a little exy, but as Tom Ford, so all of his products, they are expensive, but they're actually incredible quality. So my lipstick I wore for my wedding day was Tom Ford. I did my research. It was the best I could find. 
so I didn't care how much it was and it was about the same amount of price so because I've experienced Tom Ford I know how good the formula is so in my opinion worth it also I wanted to show you this bougie collection by Tom Ford oh I saw this and I was like if I was rich be gone in an instant I would sell out so we have the boys and girls complete 50 collection that is all 50 lipsticks from the boys and girls collection $2,750 right oh my god but it is like 50 lipsticks what does that equate to I'm gonna do the math $55 each. Wow. The other one is the 25 piece set boys three $1,500. So this is just the boys collection for $1,500. I wonder if there's just a girls collection, but they, David Jones only had those two, but like pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. And then lastly, um, a couple of episodes ago, I got really excited about Gucci Beauty releasing, they have lipsticks already, actually they only have lipsticks, but they are releasing three for the holiday. They're now available online only at David Jones, and it includes the Rouge à la Ver Satin, which is a satin finish, the Rouge à la Ver Voila, Vo Voile, which is the sheer, the Balm à la Ver, which is a lip balm, and they are $57 each. So I was really excited about that, um, but it is online only. I just, I want to be able to go into a store and have a look at them, but, you know. There's a whole collection, so maybe one day. Okay, so Beauty Bay have released a few things. We have So Sue by Suzanne Jackson. She has released, and I'm so excited for this, the Lashes for Days Advent Calendar for $81. And that includes 12 lashes. So not a bad price. And it also has the applicator, the tweezers, and a glue. They also have the So Su by Suzanne Jackson. It's a couple of things. The Mu brush set or MU brush set one for $50.50, which is currently on sale for $40.40. Um, and the Mu brush set two for $81, not on sale. There was also the Face Cracker Let It Glow contour for $50.50. And that appears to include three shades of contour and a beauty sponge. That's pretty cool. And then we also have the Lash Drawer, of course, they're mine, $24.50. And lastly, the Unicorn Cosmetics, the Totemic, the Totemic Palette for $45, which is an indie brand, which is cool to see at a major retailer. So Cult Beauty have I really 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 want to try this brand and that is Patrick Tarr so he's brought out a new collection called the monochrome moment and if you know me you know I love a monochrome moment I love matching my eyes to my blush to my lips and that's his whole collection and I love it I just love it so he has the Lip Precision Crayon for £27. So it's not a thin pencil, it's actually two tone, it's actually thicker. So that it goes in more and it's not just the line. Next he has the Velvet Brushes, the Velvet Blushes for £34.25 each. And they just look stunning as well. These are my colours. Warm, mauvey, yeah. And then lastly, sorry, I'm just, I'm staring at it on the computer behind the camera and I'm just like, hey. And then lastly, he has the Silky Lip Creams for £25.75. And so his last release were glosses and quite clear glosses with shimmer in them. And then these are a lip cream, so they're tinted and they're in between a lipstick and a lip gloss. So they're got a bit of um, uh, sheen to them but they're fully pigmented. 
And so next we have Glam Raider. They have uh, released the Radeo Drive Anniversary Assortment Box. And that retails for $79. And what it includes is the Face and Body Mist, Mini Highlighter, Lip Gloss and Primer all in Rodeo Drive shades. Discount Beauty Boutique, they are smashing it as a company. They're always bringing out stuff like hard work, hard working. And they have the LA Girl Lip Attraction lipsticks for $12 each and they come in 10 shades and they are semi-glossy with vitamin E. LA Girl so affordable. We also have the Milani Gilded Eyeshadow Collection for $44.95 each. And so they're all a mixture of eyeshadow palettes and then eyeshadow and face palettes. So we have Violet, Noir, Ember, Rouge, and Jade. So you can see which ones are just eyeshadows and which ones are eyeshadow and face palette. As we all expected, Colourpop, <laughs> Colourpop have released two eyeshadow collections in one week. So there you go, go Colourpop. So they have the Butterfly collection including, if, okay, before I start with the individuals, if you want the whole set, it's 90 US dollars. Individually, we have the Flutter by Eyeshadow Palette for $18. Everything I state is in US dollars, just FYI. The Come Fly With Me Lipstick Kit is for $34. The Fly by Pixi Puff Highlighter, $16. Love this. It is adorable. Oh, it's just gorgeous. The Super Shock Shadows in Ringlet, Like a Butterfly, Flying Circus, and Mighty Morphin for six dollars each they look gorgeous as well this whole collection is gorgeous and then lastly they have two jelly much shadows in bouquet and buttercup oh bouquet when i was typing it out i was like bouquet like what like a bouquet and buttercup us eight dollars oh the sun's coming through it's incredibly overcast today that's why it's a bit glary their other eyeshadow collection is the What The Flock eyeshadow bundle. And if you want to buy these individually, they are $12 each. But as a bundle, they are $30. So a saving of $2 each palette. And they come in Lovebird, Night Owl, and Birds of Paradise. So cute little collection. And I like that they've got a bird collection next to the butterfly collection, you know, staying up in the sky. Flying around, beautiful, loves it. And lastly from Colourpop, just one week, <laughs> we have a new shade for the Soul Body range and that is in Pink Champagne. So it includes the same as the others but in the new shade Pink Champagne and that is the Face and Body Highlighter for US $14 each, the Glow Oil for US $15 and the Shimmering Dry Oil for $15. Model Rock Lashes, we haven't mentioned them before, but they are the lashes that I wear pretty much exclusively um, because every so often they do these $20 boxes and they throw in like 30 lashes for $20. Between 15 and 30 lashes. When I bought my one pack, I got 30 lashes. And some of them are in like packs, some of them individual, but there were 30 sets of lashes for $20 and I'm still going through them because I had so many so I bought one box. So I love this company, it's an Australian company and they have released something called Petite Minis and they are a 10 pack for $45 and what they are are mixed styles that are made for smaller eyes and smaller eye shapes which is fantastic because so many people have to cut their lashes. So these are already made a little bit smaller, still gorgeous, still flary, still lush, just a tiny bit smaller for people with smaller eyes because not everyone has massive eyes. I don't have massive eyes. I have like pretty average eyes, but like sometimes I'll have to cut them off and some, pretty much most of the time I have to cut them off. So this is really cool. I absolutely love this. $43. $45 for a 10 pack. So $4.50 a pair is pretty good. So BYS, oh, BYS, BYS, 
smashing it out as well. They have released a marble collection and it's quite beautiful. And what they, it reminds me of Hourglass Ambient Blushes, that marbled effect. Very different price point, but you know, that kind of marbled look, it reminds me of that. So what's included in the marble collection is the face palette, which is $19.95. So that includes um, your eyeshadows, your two blush, like shimmering blushes, and then two highlighters. And then we also have a blush for $7.95 and lipstick in Glam, Bare and Chiffon for $7.95 each. Morphe have released more palettes. We have 18A Blue Ya Away and we have 18T Truth or Bare. So blue and then neutral warm and they retail for $26 each and there are 18 shades of both mattes and shimmers. Makeup Revolution have released and this is a little bit different but I thought I'd mention it. It's a limited edition 8 shade shadow palette inspired by you for you and it is free when you spend 30 US dollars at revolutionbeauty.com um, one per order limited to item only while stocks last. So there's no price with this because you can't actually purchase it individually. It is an, a gift with purchase, but they've made this especially as a gift with purchase. I haven't just like chucked something in that's already on the website. It's specifically as a gift when you spend over 30 US dollars. I thought I was like, what? I've never heard of that before. So we've got one left and that is Viseart. Now I could not find this on an Australian website and that's because it is exclusively sold on the, I think it's the UAE website. I think that's it. And it is a Middle Eastern collection. The catch is, not the catch. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because yes, it's only on this website in this uh, country, in this uh, region, but it is free worldwide shipping. So if you want it, you can get it. You know what I mean? So it's not like it has to be sold in on an Australian website to buy it. It's available free online shipping, worldwide shipping. So if you want it, you can buy it from this website, even though it's only exclusive to the UAE website. Anyway, moving on, we have the Basically Addict eyeshadow palette and that retails for $69.50 US dollars. And then we have the Fashion Addict eyeshadow palette, which is the same price. Uh, we, they also have released the Tempo highlighter palette for $54.50 US dollars and the Bloom highlighter palette for the same price. So if this has caught your eye, you can get it. It's just not the usual route you would think you would buy Viseart. Um, but the free worldwide shipping is the clincher. It's like, hey, if I want it, I can get it, you know? That is all we have today in New to Oz. What do you think? What are your faves? What were my favorites today? I love the Model Rock Petite um, eyelashes for smaller eyes. Loved that. Patrick Tarr. That's at the top. Patrick Tarr. The Tom Ford lip glaze. They looked pretty sick. The lashes for days advent calendar by Sosu. That was pretty cool. Oh, and the uh, L'Oreal Wake Up and Glow collection in Melon. That really caught my eye too. Those are my top picks for today. What were your favorite things that I mentioned? Let me know down below in the comments. I would love to hear what's exciting you for the week. That completes the video and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.